God. Nerve DJ? We break your tracks and that's your stats. It's DJ Squirt. No drip. All splash. Nerve DJs worldwide, bitch. Ready. Hey. All right. Hey. I know can you go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, take it down low. Hey, I'm with you. I'm with you. All right, right, y'all. It's another dope ass interview with DJ Squirt on UrbanCityRadioStation.com, baby. What? Shout out to them damn nerve DJs. Why? Because I'm a nerve DJ. I'm the regional vice president in ATL. You better get with me. Hey, what? now. Ooh, let me fix my hair. Nah, you look good. You look good. You valid. Thank you, boo. Hey. Guess what, y'all? Yeah. I got a new boyfriend. Uh-huh. They better know. And he is so freaking dope. What is up, OG? Ain't nothing much. Squirt. Hey now, What's look going? at you. Hey, hey. hey. Look at mm, you. As dope as you are. Everybody knows when you enter a DJ Squirt interview, you must follow the rules. Hey, nothing but the rules. Are you ready? Ready, ready, ready. All right, here we go. Here we ready, go. Ready, Rule ready, number ready. one. Rule number one, uh-huh. handsome. <laughs> when you enter this studio, you belong to DJ Squirt. I'm all yours, baby. I'm all yours. I love it. I love yeah. it. Because I ain't no cheater and I ain't no home wrecker, okay? Right. That's right. Only on Saturdays. Nah, I just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, to me, to me, every day is Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. Okay, every day is Saturday. All right. Rule number two. Now that we're in this beautiful relationship, any hoochie mama, baby mama, wife, I don't care who she is, she has got to go. Said less. She's out of here. Out of here. Boop. How She's tall is most she? deaf out of here. And how tall was she? She's out of here. Okay. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> She's boo, gone. She out of here. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay, boo. Okay, boo. Hey. All hey. right. Now, we can't just look good together. You know? You know, I got like 30 inches. You got them locks, right? We can't just look That's good. That's right. We could bungee jump actually... together. Hey. <laughs> We have to actually get along. Mm. That's right. That's All right. So what I want to do, I'm going to read a scenario to you, right? Right. At the end of this scenario, I need you to tell me how you're going to make me happy. Right. I got some tips. Tip number one, OG, is DJ Squirt has a voice fetish. Mm. Oh, yeah? You can get anything you want saying the right thing in the right tone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey now. Okay. All right, that's a tip. Just call me Mr. Right. <laughs> tip number two. DJ Squirt likes you six feet and up. How tall are you? Well, I'm five ten, but I can stretch a little bit. Okay, five ten. We can stretch that out a little bit somehow. I can stretch okay. a little bit. That's okay, right. Okay, okay. Hey. We just hold your braids up. That's right. <laughs> we're gonna right. we're gonna lay them locks out. <laughs> so I wear I wear a couple more socks to make me a couple inches higher. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> All right, that is dope. All right, Boo. Here we go. I'm gonna read you the scenario. I like to test you out just to make sure if we get in any type of mis- disagreements or whatever that we can still get along, right? Right. All right, here we go. At the end of the scenario, you need to tell me how you're going to make me happy, and I need you to keep it PG. Hmm? Okay? That's right. That's right. Okay. Here we go. We took a weekend away, LG. (laughs) Right. Two nights, three days. In a cabin, on a hill. Right. (laughs) Anything you can think of, LG, we did that. That's right. 
Yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, right. He had us a wonderful time. We was on a bearskin rug and sitting in front of the fireplace and sipping wine and just went crazy. We just we just lost our minds. All right. That's right. That's right. So we both some bosses. It's the third day. We wake up. It's time to get back to our money, right? Right. Phones ringing. You know, we coordinating everything. About to roll up out and uh, bam. Your girlfriend look out the window. It's like 20 feet of snow outside and we are stuck and we can't go nowhere. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now your girlfriend got an attitude. Oh, well. You already... <laughs> 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 oh, well. <laughs> and he says, we got to get along here. Okay? <laughs> mm. So your girlfriend that got an attitude, right? Rolling her eyes and stuff. Not giving you no body language, no eye contact because she can't get to making her money. She is pissed. You know how that go in a room by just y'all and this other person has a real bad attitude. That's not good. Mm. That's not All good. Right. Well, here's the thing. It's the end of the night. We back on this bare skin room. We gotta hit the fireplace. You know, it's cold outside. That's the only heat we got. But she's still, right. rolling, she's still rolling her eyes and stuff and, you know, acting funny. Oh, here's the catch. She ain't got no clothes on. Hey, now. <laughs> but she playing hard to get. That's mm. right, but you know me, I'm gonna climb right up in the back of your neck and start <laughs> kissing your neck and <laughs> putting my fingers through your hair. Hell yeah. Hold up. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, um, so you have to tell me. Remember my tips? What you would do to make me happy. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you man and rolling your eyes, mm -hmm. like I said, I just come up and back of you, just move your hair to the side, start mm -hmm. kissing. The back of your neck, mm. you know, licking your ear, just Ooh. giving you that tongue bath. <laughs> oh, a tongue bath. Oh, <laughs> you know goodness. what I'm saying? Okay. Just to try to get your mind off of all that madness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Take your little wine glass in front of you, put it up mm -hmm. to your mouth, feed your drink. Oh, you feed it to me. Okay, okay, that's yeah, fine. Hey. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to feed so you, you that drink. Mm. That's right. I I guess that would work. You know, back and neck is very sensitive to any woman. Like, that's sensitive. Hey, okay. hey. All right, all right, look at you. Oh. Okay, so guess yep. what? What? You have now been squirtified. Woo! Hey, now. Yes, you was in there, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Right. yes. You got yeah. splashed on. <laughs> hey, now, squirt, squirt. <laughs> that is fire, it's fire. Thank you, thank you, thank you for playing my madness because you know I like to have a lot of fun, right? I like to have a lot of fun too. Especially hey, now. laying there naked. It was a whole lot of fun to be made. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you better know it. <laughs> Y'all, no, no. they like a little extra nowadays, you know what I'm saying? That's right. Okay. Yes. That's <laughs> fire. right. All right, mm -hmm. what I need you to do for me, boyfriend, could you go ahead and shoot out your social media so my audience can follow you? Sure, my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube is all the same thing. It's O G E E one five two three. No space, just straight O G E E one five two three. Got that branding yep. together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my face, my Facebook is Energy Allen. That's E N E R G E E Allen A L L E N. Okay, Energy. So y'all you know, can catch me there. That's right. Hook me up. I'll be looking for them requests. Okay. DM me. Follow DM me in. where I can know where you came from. Okay. Mm, look at this. They bring it to me. Bring it to me. Yeah, right bring now. it to me. That is dope. Bring that is dope. Me. That's right. right bro, I answer, right, I answer back. I answer back. <laughs> I most definitely right. answer back. You answer back? Okay. You know. Yeah, I, I answer back. That's good. You know, people look forward to that. So look, Yeah, I answer UrbanCityRailStations.com is about bringing people together, showing them who you right. are, what you're made of, sharing right. your challenges, your struggles, and your success so that right. you can be an inspiration to someone else. Because, right. oh, gee, our kids are killing themselves. The That's media right. media is bamboozling them, and they don't That's have right. it right. I That's feel right. like us as responsible, successful adults, we're responsible for them knowing the right information and being some type of support. That's right. Somebody got to tell them the right information because everything they're being fed is wrong. 
or show even us. Even look at even look at, even looking at TV, TV show, or well, everything is wrong. Yeah. That's why this is here. And um, what I like to do is interview people like yourself so that they can be inspired by some of the things that you may have went through that a lot right. of people have gone through to be right. successful and know that they can they can pull through. Okay, you can so, definitely pull through. I got questions I like to run down and um, get to the end of this and let them know all about OG, where you come from, what you're about. Because I believe this, if they love you, they support you. Right, right, right. No matter what. Okay. Right. Here we go. Question number one. Where are you from? I'm from the Bronx, New York. I heard it in your voice. Ooh. Bronx, New York. Hey, you know that. Fire. That's fire. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> All right. How many siblings did you grow up with in the household? Not the ones outside the Papa Rolling Stone kids. The one that grew up in the house with you. Well, grew up in the house with me. I had my mother, stepfather, mm -hmm. and my mother had four kids. So there was four of us, and I'm the middle child. Really? Man. Yes. I am the cutest nerd that you will ever meet. Right. It was two boys. It was three boys and one girl. Okay, so look, look, I did a study because I'm a nerd. I'm a real cute nerd, right? Nerd ain't gonna be cute, but I am. So look, I did this study. I said, I wanted to know for those people that are successful, what did they have in common when they're so dope, right? Right. And it's usually child. And I've learned that the oldest, the middle, or the only child are usually the most successful due to the number child they are. Right. You fit my theory. Mm. Hey now, middle child, what, what you middle child? I gotta put you on my yep. wall of middle kids. Hey now, that's right. <laughs> so, did you grow up with mom and dad in the home, or just mom? Mm. I grew up with I grew up with my mom and my step stepdad, but we never considered him a stepdad. But you know, right. it, it is what it is. That's what he was a stepdad. But I also had my father too, so mm. I had I was lucky enough to have two fathers. That's fire. You know what I'm saying? And they both and they both under they both understand. You know what I'm saying? And they were we was together. giving my we was giving my stepfather the respect because that's my mother's husband. He was with my mother since we was babies. Mm -hmm. And we also was giving my father respect because he is our father for real. So mm -hmm. I had that's I grew fun. up lucky to have I, I grew up lucky to have two fathers. Now that's really dope. Okay. And they both was there. That's really dope. All right, all right. So <laughs> Everyone knows there are major challenges, struggles, and success growing up and, you know, becoming who you are. Right. Especially in school. Right. If you have any challenges that you may have overcome in school, please share that. So tell me, how was school for you? School, school, school was easy for me. Hmm. School, elementary school, yeah, you know, you had them little buddies that want to bully you, but I was never the type of kid to be bullied. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because not to toot my own horn, like I was good looking in school. You know, I had long grades as a kid. And then them ugly motherfuckers want to come and try to bully you. <laughs> but they they see how my attitude was. Like, I'm quick to fight too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But if I get punched mm -hmm. in the face, that bruised or hell. That's how I always look at it. Mm, okay. So, you know, and then I started like earning respect in school. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to earn, because the Bronx is different. You got to earn your respect over here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, This I is like imagine. jail. Once you, This is like jail. When you go somewhere and show your fear, when they look at you and know you fear, they will try you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. So you yeah. always got to be right. 10 toes up and 10 toes down, whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I grew up in a group home, and I learned. I was a little bitty thing, and I learned that you get your hands on that one big mouth, no matter how many of them it is. Mm -hmm. You win that fight, you good. That's right. Even if you don't win, even if you don't win. You went for you know it. Yeah. Yeah, if you, you show that you had hard to fight that moment, whoever it is, they respect you for that. And then they will turn around and respect you. True. Yeah. Like, I get exactly what you're saying. Oh, okay, yeah. boo. Okay, okay. Everyone knows, especially as talented as you are. You know, you're making this music, you, you're following the process, you're doing your thing with it. There's always some type of instance, incident, death, tragic, something that took place in your life that made you this dope superstar. Like, what mm -hmm. was it for you that said, oh, I'm gonna do this? Or who? Mm -hmm. 
Well, I've been doing I've been doing it since like hip hop started. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right so I've I've been I've been doing that. Mm-hmm. And then when I started having kids, you know, mm-hmm. I was still doing it. Then I got my kids involved, but then I slowed down. But mm-hmm. all the deaths in my family, like my wife, my father passed away. After my father passed away, my wife passed away. After my wife passed away, my mother passed away. Everybody was just passing away. And then I got three, I have three kids. I mean, I have three baby mothers and they all passed away. Oh my God, are you serious? Yeah, my wife, my wife, I mean, my daughter mother and my older son mother passed away two weeks apart. Oh my God. My daughter mother, my daughter mother, I guess her boyfriend or whoever he was, he beat her to death on the beach. And then my oldest son, his mother, passed away in her sleep. So I don't know if she had a heart attack or an asthma attack in her sleep. Oh and then my wife, she caught cancer in 2016 and she passed away. So that was like the last one. Oh and that was really, that really messed me up, man. And so music is yeah. like a but I, Yeah, but you still gotta stay strong for the rest of the family. Now I got 10 grandkids. So, you know, and I got, and I got sons and so I couldn't flop like fold cause if they see me fold, right. they go fold. So if they see me still strong, like, wow, dad, the strongest man I know. Dad grew up to be the strongest man they kids know. You are strong. Like, you are really strong. Yeah. Like, no, they amazing. all were dying back to back. I'm like, whoa. That's, yep. that's, that's a lot. But then I, I got over all that, you know, retired from my job. Now I'm doing this rap thing full time. This started, is my job. you started with, yes. It always takes you back to what you started That's with. Right. That's right. You're about to be successful. I'm I'm bringing this school up this year. Hopefully the pandemic doesn't fire back up. But once right. this school is up, I would love to have you come talk to these youth. Like, you're a great, great person to do that. Yeah, I would definitely do that. Because my life growing up, word up, I'm surprised. If people see me, they be like, oh, dear, how old are you? Damn, when I grow up, I'm going to hope I look like you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so tell me this. I want to get in depth with this because there's young children that are losing their mother and father and having no one and they really don't have a way to get through this. Like, can you help me with your thought process as these deaths came about how you kept going every day? What inspired you to keep getting up going? My kids, really. Mm -hmm. When I started having kids. Okay. They kept me getting up going every day. You know what I'm saying? But I was still doing my little like when my my son was born when I was sixteen. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like the only been. job, the only jobs I've been having before that was like summer youth jobs for like teenagers. Mm-hmm. But when my son was born, I said, "Oh no, I got to get a real job at the school now." You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. So I was always that. Once I had a kid, I was a father like every since. Even though I had my kids so young, they like brothers to me. My son is like brothers to me because I had them so young. It's like we growing up together. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I get it. But, my daughter's 30. We we get along so well now that she's experienced a little bit. And she actually helps me through some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, my son helped me with some stuff. Mm-hmm. If I say, if I make a song and if I'm going to do it too fast, if I'm off beat, whatever, my son going to tell me, your dad, chill, you off beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, my son's just rappers and stuff too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my yeah. son's just known all over. That mentality that people have that I'm the eldest and you listen to me, they need to stop that. I learned no, how to, to forgive that. people. I learned how to forgive people and come over, you know, get over certain instances of people and learn the value of the actual relationship, not based on their yeah. error. You know, I don't what I'm hold I don't hold grudges at all. Mm-hmm. My daughter I could be me mad. At, I could be mad at you. I could be mad at you, and then five minutes later, you'll be like, "Oh my God, wasn't you just mad at me five minutes ago?" I act like I never was mad. You got to. You have to. You could just you add. Know. You could just ask my daughter that. My daughter said that all the time. Like, oh my God, you were just spazzing on me, not you, all lovable. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yo, forget about that. Five minutes ago, that shit. is so dope, man. That yeah, is my really daughter dope. is thirty. My daughter is thirty. Yeah, my daughter is too. So, yeah. could, I mean, look at this. See, this is why I start doing these interviews. You got people that'll look at you and go, ah, he wearing yellow. He got dreads. I don't like him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when they get to listen and relate to the things you've been through and the things that you go through, how you got through it, it's a whole different level of respect. It's, yeah, it's, that's right. It changes the game. And that's why I do this, because people look at me and think I'm some young, little, fly, 
kicking it dumb girl until you see what I can do. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's very mm-hmm. important. Man, I got a whole new level of respect for you, bro, bro. Hey, now. Fire, fire. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so impressed. I am so impressed and so happy. But my condolences for all the past. Yeah. Years. And um, yeah, I got a my lot respect of... for you to keep going because that's, that's inspirational to me. Because mm-hmm. I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Something happened to my father. I don't know. I was thinking about it the other day. Like, I don't know how I'm going to do that. You know, I don't know. But yo, that could that could when you when you lose one, again you still mourning off of that one. Then the next one passed. Right. Like whoa, without one, and now you hit double. Like you uh, had a lot of them. That's fire. So yeah. you take that that pain, those experiences, those feelings, and put them into music. You got some yeah, music, that's bro. That's right. Like my other songs that you didn't hear, I got you know stuff like that. Well, you make sure you send it to me. Okay. Yeah, well, I got a I got a song on YouTube with my sons and my daughter. I will definitely for my take wife. those out. It's for my wife that passed away. The name of it is um um Never Can Say Goodbye. So if you go to my YouTube and you see mm-hmm. Never Can Say Goodbye, that's my daughter actually singing, and my two sons is rapping on there with me. Okay. My oldest son is not on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that y'all can amazing. check that out. Maybe yeah. I I got a suggestion for you. Maybe you hire like a cameraman, right? And have them follow you and your family around on your everyday, like it's your own reality show, your own right. we, we coping have, mechanism. We actually have a cameraman doing that. Mm. You do already. <laughs> yeah. Oh, vibing. Hey, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we definitely got that already. That's fired. So, what type of things since you've gotten back into this game? What type of things have you accomplished so far? Well, so far, I'm bugging out on my YouTube views right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But for this little single that I got more weed, mm-hmm. yo, the, I'm just watching the views go up in front of my eyes. That's good. So now I'm see, the, I'm, the internet changed the game this time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back in yeah. the day, you couldn't get it like that. Now? Nope. You nope. do that work and you put it out there and everybody see it, it's fire. Marketing and promotions yeah. is number one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they always say, yo, it takes that one song. But yo, I don't know. So hoping that this one song is it. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been doing oh, it for a long keep time. Going, keep going. When they hear one, they need more. They need more. No, I got I got I got a lot of more, but they say it takes one song to get Maybe. you in. That's true. Yeah. That's but once true. I get in. I got more songs to hold me down while I'm in there. Yeah. I like your style. I like that New York talk. I like that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's fire. So I ask these students this because a lot of children and youth in this society have never had the pleasure or honor of even putting their hands on $5,000. You know what I mean? Right, right. Um, so now the industry has made it. In, uh, the internet changed the game. The industry is so different. You got talent. You have the capability of being a thirty million dollar artist, like tomorrow, right? You got that right. Right. So I asked this question, and but I want you to think about this before I ask the question. Um, the things around you, the things that are important to you, that you would like to see changed or see available in your community, you want to think more about things, you know, in that fashion. Yeah. So, yeah. your girlfriend, DJ Squirt. With the Magic City. Hey. I was twerking. Hey. Uh-huh. Right? Hey. hey. <laughs> and you woke up with $30 million in the bank because of me. Mm. Mm-hmm. What would you do with that money? Well, if I get the, like an easy $30,000 like that, mm-hmm. I'm, I go downtown because down the city in Midtown, you got a lot of like homeless people just sleeping mm-hmm. on the buildings and the train station. Mm-hmm. And I'm always saying, yo, that's not bad. If I have money, this person would not be sleeping in the train. I help the homeless people. Wow. That's what I would do. Wow. Because you got a lot of, you know, you got young homeless people. Young, like. Yes. They yeah. homeless longer longer than they had a home. How you it, like it 19, 20, and you homeless? It, it don't take much nowadays to end up homeless. It don't take, it all takes yeah, one bad know, decision. And one I'm bad decision, bad. one bad friend, <laughs> one thief. Yeah. All, that's, yeah. that's all it takes. So. Yeah, when I used to sell my merch, when I still sell merch, but I used to go downtown and give them like sweatshirts and hats. Mm-hmm. Does it get cold? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Oh wow! I look forward to you becoming a millionaire. That's fire. That's fire. Yeah, I, I like that to help the homeless. That's that's that, important, man. That, that is so dope. That don't look that don't look bad for the city. When we get visitors coming from out of town mm-hmm. and they gotta get off the train and see homeless yeah. people sitting all around, that don't look bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. I don't think it's right. No. That is so fire. Oh my god! So what I need you to do for me? We're going to wrap this up because it's been a really dope interview. I'm so yeah. happy to get to know more about you because this is the type yeah. of stuff that I think should be seen by our youth, you know, right. to understand and get to know people and not right. judge in any way. So that is right. so dope. I need you to shoot out your social media for me one more time. Mm. Okay. Okay. Like I said before, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube is O G E E one five two three, and my Facebook is Energy Allen. That's E N E R G E E A L L E N. Gotcha. That is so yeah. dope. Like I'm honored to have you. I really am. Like I'm. I'm excited. I'm gonna that come out so there and meet my brother. My brother live in Atlanta, so you know sometimes I be going out there. Okay, that's you know fire. As soon as I know I'm going out there, I'm gonna hit you up. I'm out here. Okay, let me know. It depends. Definitely I'm always will. traveling too, so you gotta let me know. You don't let me know when you land. You gotta let me know when you're coming, so I know. All right. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is fire. Oh my God! Mm-hmm. So it's been another dope ass interview with DJ yep. Squirt on UrbanCityRadioStation.com. You guys make sure that you download my app. I am on Google Play, iTunes devices. I stream on iTunes Internet Radio. Stream us, tune in. I've got like 16 different streams. It's an all independent artist radio station that caters has went up to 53,000 listens a month worldwide. I got you. You can also check that out on the app. Check it out online. Send me your music. If you're dope, send it for free and I'll play it for free. But if I don't pick you, you're going to have to get some guaranteed airplay. But that don't mean nobody's going to like you. It's just me. It's mine. I do what I want to do. That's right. But you rocking out to that more weed, though, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fire. <laughs> I need clean. Definitely clean. No, I got Oh, I, got I have it. a clean version. I got you. I got it. I got it. So, oh, you got again, it? Oh, yeah. yeah, I got you. Right. <clears throat> Again, I am DJ Squirt, regional VP of the Nerve DJ, straight out of ATL. You guys better make sure that you log on to NerveDJsMixtapes.com, upload you a free account, put in there DJ Squirt sent you. Mm-mm-mm. Upload your music for free and let three to 5,000 DJs get to hear you. Now, you want more That's promotions right. to get pushed out there, you know, you're going to have to invest. Everything ain't free. Ain't not, everything ain't free. Okay. That's right. Everybody should know that. They should know that. Exactly. That's why some people's music is just sitting there because they, they don't want to invest in themselves. They're looking for other people to invest in them. Nope. But you got to invest like in that. yourself. And once you do that, everything starts opening up for you. Mm-hmm. You better That's what I decide. say it again, boo. <laughs> yeah, once you invest in yourself, everything starts opening for you. If you don't mm-hmm. invest in yourself, you're not going nowhere. And I learned like that. When they, when, I was, when, when they say, my music is available on all major platforms. Okay, so it's 80 million other people. You need to do yeah. something. That's right? that's not going to mean nothing. No. That, no, that just not. letting people know, that just letting people know you make music. It's there. That's all that. Yeah. You got to push it. You gotta push it. That's right. Then you get a you get a million streams right now, and that's still not no money. What you getting for that? What you getting for that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? True. That's true. That is yeah. so fire. Well, it's been a pleasure, and I got a new boyfriend, OG from the Bronx. What? That's right. Hey, that's right. Hey, I she ain't having no York. more interviews because I'm her last boyfriend. <laughs> 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 interviews is over. Cool by my hair. <laughs> <laughs> But baby, he's just playing. He's just playing. Yeah, I'm just playing. I'm just joking. I like to joke. I like to laugh. Look. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Oh, my God. But thank you again for joining me. I appreciate you. You do have a All girlfriend right. at ACL. I need to know when you have hey. a concert. So I could be on the green room eating all the fruit and the grapes and stuff. That y'all got well, I'm, I'm, I'm coming out there September. I'm going to Ohio. Maybe I'll meet you out there if you out there. Oh, I'm going to definitely be at the conference, for sure. Well, I'm yeah. definitely going to be out there. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah well, so, I'm on that stage. You kidding me? Okay. Oh, that's, I can't wait. I can't wait to see you. Oh, yeah. I'm coming out there. <laughs> All right, you guys. It's been another dope-ass interview with one of my new boyfriends. What? What? OG is in the building from the Bronx. And it's been... Hey, now. It's been great. 
We are signing off. Say good night, boo. Good night, everybody. Good night. Hit me up. Like I said, hit me up on that Instagram DM. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting. <laughs> All right, y'all take care. All right. Say they got problems, but they ain't addressed me. Don't come with that flexion, no question. Where do you be from a whip or the rest of me? Stretch it out for me, 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 stretch it out for me.